Welcome to the arcade, the Backups Arcade in the Track Mode Rocket Launcher Retro Arch build. Hundred of, I gotta say, if I had to pick my top 100 games, this this is getting awfully close to what I would pick as far as MAME games, uh, retro classics that everybody should play. And uh, it's a plug and play download. It's under 10 gigabytes. It'll run on old, old computers, so you don't need like the latest and greatest. I think it's fun for the whole family. So let's go ahead and check this out. A lot of bezels, a lot of little like little things like music that I haven't actually seen before. Like not like this. It's actually very user friendly with the Xbox controller, as well as some features you've never seen before. Trust me. Let's check it out. So today we're checking out the Backups Arcade. It's only nine gigabytes. It's eight gigabyte download, nine gigabytes when you're finally ready to play. It's in a track uh, mode build for arcade games and it's got background music and it's all controller friendly. Um, it's a it's a cool little thing that I've checked out so far. A couple of things is they do have the README file, which talks it gives you, um, you know, controls for your keyboard. It also gives you controls for your controller. They also mentioned that if you want to just use a controller, they have key to joy already pre-installed and you just got to load up a certain uh, profile and then it'll work for you. And then there's guides. There's even ambient background music. It talks to you about some of the you know additional features that are built into this thing. And I have to say it's pretty cool. And then credit to some of these people that uh, worked on it. I have to say it's pretty cool so far that I've checked out. In addition to that, if you want to add games or change logos, they have an entire table of contents guide here. This is more for the people that want to add games or change the actual build itself. And they have a full, um, you know, uh, tutorial there. I'm not going to get into that because a lot of you are just going to run this plug and play. Uh, and then there's some other things on here as well. Uh, it does say you need a Vulkan graphics card for this to work. So, um, you know, some graphics cards are OpenGL only, so make sure it supports Vulkan and uh, you should be good to go. You're just gonna open up the icon. So as you can see, it's just really quick and it boots right up. I'm using the D-pad right now to move between the letters. Oh wow, what did I just see there? Okay, there's a search function with your uh, L1 button. Oh, if you hold down at R, you gotta hold it down. You get control. Isn't that cool? Let's see. That's pretty cool. Look at these custom controllers. That's really cool. That's really cool. I didn't, I was not expecting that. That's really cool. Like this one, it tells you what boost is, gas is, brake is. Okay, and then what other buttons do we have here? You got exit with your B button, and then you can go into the game with your A button, I'm sure. All right, so here we go, we're loading a game, and it's gonna, it's running Rocket Launcher, and then running Retro Arch. It loads the game up. You hit select for tokens, and I wanna show you the pause feature really quick. Actually, if you click that for a second, so you can turn in-game music on, you can shuffle on, mute status off, and then you can change the actual volume. That's pretty cool. And then statistics, you have your game statistics, like scores and things. You can shut down the thing. You can change your controls. You can change. look at the different artwork, the flyer, the marquee for this game, the game that you're in. Now, here's where it's really cool. Guides, break a million at Pac-Man, how to win at home video games, how to win at Pac-Man, how to win at video games, complete guide, mastering Pac-Man, playing Donkey Kong to win, the readme file, um, WBMG, the video master's guide for Defender, Insanity, Donkey Kong, winner's book of video games is in here as well. Let's launch one just to check it out. Okay, cool. And you just get to read it. Coin operated video games, coin operated video games. Wow, look at the font. Man, this is so retro. This is awesome. Coin operated video games. So wow, you get the whole thing. Look at those buttons. Cool. So I assume we just go back here. Okay, cool. Video. You get the uh, video and then back to the sounds. You can just go back and back, and it should be bringing me back to the game. I'm assuming. Or if I hit pause again. Okay, exiting pause, and now I'm back in the game. Okay, get some tokens here, and I should be able to play this game. So that in itself is really cool. All right, let's go. 
You can get into the retro arch menus with your R2 button. As well as uh, exiting the game, you can click in uh, R3. Select your battle fighter. Okay, the countdown begins. So it's 100 arcade games. Let's go through it. 1942, 44, Afterburner, Aliens, Arkanoid, Asteroids, Alien vs. Predator, Bad Dudes, Double Drag Ninja, Bomb Jack, Bosconian, you got Black Tiger, you got B Rap Boys, Bubble Bobble, Buster Bros, Captain Tomade, Caveman Ninjas. Remember, you can hit that. Uh, R2 button, see what the controls are for the game. Centipede controls for the game. Chase HQ controls. Commando, Capcom vs. SNK2, Death Smiles, Defender, Don Conchi, Double Dragon, Donkey Kong. This one's gonna have all the sound effects, I'm sure. Forgotten Worlds, Frogger, Final Fight, again, controls. Futari, Galaga, Galaxian, Ghouls and Ghosts, Golden Axe, Ghosts and Goblins, Green Barret, Hyper Sports, In the Hunt, Carnob, LED Storm, Super Mario, or Mario Bros. Marble Madness is on here, nice, what a game. So you can uh, add a, you can use your mouse, or you can use a, um, you know, a, uh, a ball, track ball. Ball Combat 1 and 2, Monkey Ball, oof, love this game. Moon Cresta, Moon Patrol, Moon Walker, Metal Slug X, Miss Pac-Man, Ninja Baseball Batman, Ninja Gaiden, Outrun, Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Paperboy, what is it, Paradius, uh, Da, Pole Position, Punch-Out, Rainbow Islands, Rampage, Rastin, Renegade, Robocop, Robotron, R-Type, Ryger, Samurai Showdown, Samurai Showdown for Special, Shadow Dancer, Shinobi, Sky Kid Deluxe, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 3, Alpha, Third Strike, Hyperdyne, The Simpsons, Silkworm, Smash TV, ooh, great one. Snow Bros, great one. So many good games on here. Star Wars is on here, nice. Strider, Super Sprint, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Hang On, Tapper, Tempest, Terra Cresta, Time Pilot, Teeny Mutant Ninja Turtles, The New Zealand Story, Tokyo Taki, Two Crew Dudes, Three Wonders, Wonder Boy, Wizard 4, WWF, and R Kung Fu. Back to the beginning here. <laughs> All 
all right so there you have it amazing amazing build love all the bezels love the love the attention to detail the coin the guide it's 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 a really cool I, I have to say the selection of games is amazing like I, I i know this is a controversial topic but out of the 100 games selected i love the 100 like if you have to do a top 100 i would love these top 100s homer so i'm digging the top 100 Um, and that's it. Let me know what you think. I'm digging it. You can exit in track mode. And then there you are. So let me know what you think. I'm digging it. I think a lot of people will as well. It's on backups.me. Um, really small file. Very minimal requirements for these games. We'll run on like old school laptops, stuff like that. That's what makes it so great. A lot of people don't like Rocket Launcher. I'd say that's probably the biggest downside is it does have a little bit of a learning curve. But other than that, I mean, if you're just plug and playing, it works right out of the box with the standard Xbox controller. And uh, it's fun as hell. So that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.